so let we got this last one this juicy one nice one we could really just sit with i know we all watched it if we was all real niggas we all watched it yeah we know we checked it when out when denzel drops you you watch it you drop got, everything bro. we putting cases on all you motherfuckers <laughs> other, other dude just won a, a academy award I think. so it's starring denzel washington yeah, Jared Leto. I think all of them get Oscars. Matter of fact, every last one, yeah. yeah, they all get Oscars. It's I'm, for something. Uh, it's the type. The movie's Denzel. called Little Things. It's starring Denzel Washington. Obviously, his uh, feature. He's his. Uh, it's not a debut, but his debut for the year. For the year, <clears throat> Just kicking the year it's just off. It's always strong. good to see him. In this something. is probably the biggest movie of the year that's released so far. Because it's Denzel. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the really the first big one that's at the show and in the like, theaters what, what, HBO in, HBO yeah. Max yeah yeah um Denzel Rami Malek Jared Leto I'm gonna let Taurus take it away first so this movie this is an interesting movie it's a lot going on here a lot to uh break down but basically the storyline is you got Denzel's character who basically was a detective in his earlier times and he had some shit happen during the time of his time as a detective um so then he ends up becoming like what deputy a deputy in a different county in a different, in a different, different county. county like a little small town yeah and he links up with uh rami's character who's like the top nigga the top nigga top detective in that town, they link up and try to. What I didn't get is why did they send him <clears throat> back in the first place? Because it, it was obviously because once we were, get to the end, it was like they didn't want him to be there. They, they didn't want him to, to be there. Yeah. So if somebody sent for him. Why is he going there in the first place? That's what was Weird. one of the things that I was trying to actually because you watched it twice too, right? We'll just we'll just say we'll go ahead. We'll say I think you watched it twice. All right, okay. So, um. So the whole movie is really just about these two police officers trying to solve these murders that went on, and it's they, the same. It's he, Denzel feels like it's the same killer, right? Right. It That's started yeah. when he was a detective. When yeah. he before he got shipped off. Exactly. So the whole movie, you're really trying to figure this shit out with them. Like, damn, hold up, is it dude or is it? You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things that you really got to pay attention and watch all the details and watch the when you watch it the second time it's kind of a little few things here and there that you kind of pick up with it um but man this is a great first off it's a great acting performance from everybody in this movie denzel who went the hardest did this man i'm gonna have to say um i'm gonna say denzel it's funny because they didn't ask a lot from Denzel in this movie. Yeah. But he still be finding his little ways to be throwing yeah. a little extra shit in in the, in the fucking acting. To let niggas know. Let them know. Like, when he's laying up in the room and he's sitting there playing with his lip and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he be doing, he be just sliding shit in. Like, I can act, y'all. Y'all niggas better pay attention. Act, it was like a competition, low key. They all, everybody was like, oh, shit, this is Denzel. We finna let these niggas know what's up with this shit. But nobody's gonna out-act Denzel in a movie. Not I, not on the same. I, these I, niggas tried. be real. That nigga tried. Jared oh, Leto tried. about to get Juicy. He didn't have as big of a role, but I think Leto probably did the best job acting. He was really believable as just a crazy out yeah, there. Motherfucker. You, you believe that shit? He, he, he held his own. He plays, he plays uh, that type of role in every movie. He might have did the best. He might have had the best character though. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he had the most potential to be that. You mean, kind of it, his character in hindsight, looking back at the movie, Denzel's character was the best, most interesting character, and I'll get into that. Mm -hmm. But. For face value, watching the movie off bat first, Leto's character is the most interesting character. But Rami's character is kind of like you trying to find out what he's yeah. about too. So like they all did, they, they, they all got it's layers to all of them. They all got presence, is yeah. what I'll say. They That's all demand, they all demand your attention on That's the what screen. What happens when you get three 
what superstar actors all in the same. Well, Rami's new to this shit. Man, I fuck with him hard. He been around for he, a little bit. A yeah, he's newer than the rest of the other he two. He watched or not watched, Robot. He was in Mr. Robot. I I messed with that. I show was hard. trying to keep up with some of that shit. I couldn't. He I looks couldn't like a even. fucking robot too in real life. <laughs> Man, them eyes are weird, bro. <laughs> he's got a weird. He's got a weird thing, and he's been in some weird roles, and I think he's like embraced that. Now. He's a super good actor, though. No, he, he handled his business. They all of them handled this shit mm-hmm. in this movie, and um, you know, this is it. it definitely was a, one of those ones. If you turned your head or checked your phone, you was gonna miss some shit. You had to pay attention. You know, you gotta really like watch this shit. The the little things, like for real. Like this was like one of those movies. Where, one of those metaphors. Did, you, those yeah. Yeah. Did y'all rewind the movie at all? Nah, but I caught so many things. I was say I caught myself rewinding it like I definitely rewinded four a couple of parts when I was like, like, "Who was that? I was yeah. at the what was theater. He at there? What was they just saying? Right. I had to rewind it. What the fuck did he just say? You know, you had to oh, pay right. attention. Yeah, no, I know, but and I, you I, still didn't just, get it after you rewinded the shit. A lot like, of times I would rewind and realize I didn't miss anything. It was just one of them. You was looking in. I just expected there to be something extra there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, before we get into your review, um. Little basic synopsis. I want to get into it a little further, but so yeah, he's this deputy that used to work in L.A. Now he's a small time. For some reason, he's connected. To, the movie starts out with a murder. The chick gets away type shit. He gets sent off to L.A. to collect some evidence to track down some criminal that they that's from their city or something like that. He used to be a cop out there. You can tell right away when he goes and sees the new. The new was it the chief? The chief is his old partner. We find out in the yeah. end. And the chief, soon as he's seen him, like, what, the, what are you doing here, bro? You know what I mean? And we find out. Obviously, he's spo- he not supposed to be there because yeah. they 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 on some other shit. But uh, so yeah, he's a ex detective, still a cop, ex detective, who we find out is was shipped out because he went crazy basically after he couldn't solve a murder you know and now he comes back and he's back into a whole crime scene Rami takes his spot as the new guy in the in the in the department Rami's like let me see who's this new Columbo cat you know what I'm saying like or you know he finds out he's the old man Mm -hmm. at the spot brings him in on a new crime that happens to be damn near the same as the ones that Denzel was looking into um, and now they back on. Now he's back on it. Now trying to get the killer. He was only supposed to be in town for a day. Now he's he's back on it. He done lost relationships with his kids, his wife over this. Now he's back in the city, trying to track shit, shit down. They find a a, 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 a very a likable suspect. Not likable in the fact that we like him, but I mean he did a good job acting. But mm. he's very. Uh, He's got a lot of things that make him look like he did it. You know what I mean? And that's what I want to dig into as far as what I got to say about it. Because the movie ends, obviously, Rami ends up killing the dude because he's getting under his skin talking about his family and shit. And they already think he's the killer. And he, dude's, he's obsessing about finding this girl he done promised that that he done promised the family he Mm -hmm. gonna find. And, uh, basically... What I really wanted to touch on was that it's a it's a new spin because it's showing the other side of the law. Yeah. And the cops getting it wrong. You know yeah. what I mean? The cops is, and then them protecting protecting each other. They fell at each other. But, when they but doing it terrible also shit. shows you their mind too. Like I thought that was crazy. By the end of the movie, it's like, hold up. This nigga Denzel's a serial killer in this movie. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, he done already killed a couple people mm-hmm. in the movie, and he cool with it, and he trying to ease the uh, Rami's conscience on that. Because mm-hmm. he was tripping about it. But Jared Leto's character, so this is, we don't know if he did it or not. Obviously, they show us at the end that they had no concrete evidence on it. None. And so that obviously still makes Denzel and them look like the bad guy. But there were so many little things mm-hmm. in here he Jared's character had to be the guy to do it because remember when uh Denzel asked her asked Rami Rami's character uh what did she what did what was the last you know she was a vegan but she had some meat up inside of her she stomach had some roast beef he's like what stomach. did she eat he was like roast beef 
He's like, it's the little things. Next scene, you see him profiling Leto, and he goes Rose into a beef. shop. I don't mm -hmm. know if y'all caught him, yeah. but did you Rose see the little beef. sign that said Rose Beef? Rose Beef, yeah. So it's like, okay, we got that. Her fridge wasn't working. He goes to the shop and finds out who was supposed to come repair it. So not only was Rose Beef her last meal, and he's obviously up in there getting Rose Beef, mm -hmm. he also was supposed to fix her fridge. He also is in love with murders and crimes. Hold on. There was some milk in the fridge that was still, like, good. Everything else was rotten and shit. Right, well, yeah. Cause Denzel he, went back to his crib, found some milk. I don't know if that's a connection. No, but. it was bush beer, though. Bush beer. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, when he w went through his garbage and shit, saw the same type of milk and shit. Yeah, yeah. so the, I'll, we'll, I'll, we'll use a the beer. Shit. We'll use the beer for now. There were so many coincidences. The beer was the same beer in the fridge. Broken knife. Um, he had a yeah a broken knife, but that wasn't that's not gonna be the knife. Dude was a smart. He was too smart to not have been a killer. Covering his tracks way too hard. He knew every move with the cops. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he knew how to get out of all the situations. He was way too smart to just be some regular person. He also confessed to murders eight years prior. They turned him away because they say he wasn't. They uh, say walk in people that confess to serial killings is never the never the ones. Maybe he knew that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he knew that yeah. would get him off. Um, I think he was a nigga that was just like you said obsessed with like a serial killers. Yeah, so he followed that shit. He studied this shit. Not only did he get a hard on from seeing pictures of the murder, right? That too. He was actually connected to the murder through the fridge. He was right. He was supposed to go. Yeah. He was supposed to go fix the fridge. So he was connected. And to me, that, that lets me know, like, I'm right there with Rami. Like, yeah, that's the nigga. We had to kill him. Had to kill him, so. Another clue is when he pulled up, when in Denzel, and they was out there on that on the E-Way, and it was, was it 417? the exact mile the marker. Rice, exact other, spot. Other murders. So, yeah, they was letting us know all the time. It was probably like 15 different clues scattered all through the movie or more. I mean, it was that a lot part didn't do much for me though. That, that as far as like proving anything, because he has the police scanner in his living room. That's true too. So they, he would have known where it was. Well, that that clue, that, that clue specifically. But the fact that he was tied to the that was specific to yeah. the murder alone, he had a connection to it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the fact that he loves murders, and he's a crime buff, and he's that, getting well, hard ons from doesn't automatically make you a serial killer though. He's just too connected. That was the weird part about He's the movie. He's plugged in I'd too hard with this shit. Watching the movie at the end of it, I still am not convinced it was him. I That'd am. be too easy. I am. There's way too many connections. It has you thinking, like, is it him? Is but uh, Yeah, but the, that's what I was saying. The, him being that crime buff and everything, I mean... You think he know what he's doing and but how he knows how to maneuver he, around that type of shit. He's a crime buff. The way he's playing games with these cops, bro... That's that's a different level of psychology. You know what I mean? Most niggas would freeze up. He's a smart. He nigga. just manipulated the fuck out of the whole situation, like like never before. Playing is, games with the cops, right? We've yeah. seen that before in real life, though. <clears throat> I I've never seen it. Have you seen it? Not Maybe to this Zodiac level. Killer, the first one that said. But that's in the eighties, bro. That's like seventies, six. This shit's in the eighties, eighty five, ninety, nineteen ninety. Yeah, that was another type of shit where he, you know, they was doing the same type of shit. It's still at a time where technology, obviously nowadays, they get you if you got a cell phone. But this took place in like the nineties. This was though. the nineties. Yeah, they made yeah. it. I wasn't clear of that until I started. The first murders were like in the eighties, though, weren't they? Like eighty five and shit. Yeah, the, yeah, the flashbacks. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, in the mid eighties. So I definitely think he was too connected to the murder and too much of a creep to not have done it. You know what I mean? Um, but that's what's dope about this movie is because we don't, we don't get closure on it, and I think that's okay. That's we, another keep part you of this. wondering like being after a the cop fight. too. You don't get closure. I mean, you don't always solve a case. And I like the messages like no angels, like we're not angels. Yeah. You know In what I'm saying? Like angels. Like, but that was all him trying to like. S Soothe him for it, killing the nigga. Soothe himself because he killed the girl that actually got away. That right. would have solved everything exactly. if, if he would have got it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So fucked up. Right. he's he already saved fucked a bunch in the of head. lives after that too. Huh? So that would have saved a bunch of lives after that exactly. too. Exactly. Yeah. So obsessive detectives. I want to speak on Rami's acting specifically because mm. we know Let Leto did his thing. He he looked like a fake ass uh, Charles Manson. You know what I'm saying? Crazy ass nigga. Uh, 
Denzel obviously does his thing. He 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 made the most of I think with little things they asked him. Little yeah. things. How many times are we gonna say little things? Um, Rami's character was funny to me. Not that he was funny, but he was obviously like the new nigga out of the. He was the yeah. least proven out of the yeah. three, and you can tell that he wanted it bad. Like yeah. he, he wanted this it moment showed. to shine. Yeah. And one moment that was funny for me is when uh they in the car and he's he he beats the window he's like fuck mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i'm okay no nah, i'm good and it's like is this good acting is this bad acting it's kind of funny is it overacting i think it's good acting yeah that's how i felt it's funny that you say that when it, you know well, yeah, i wasn't that, that sure. scene just that scene right it's kind of cringy but this nigga kind of makes me feel like he's like and don't get this wrong because taurus loves this nigga but he's like the michael jackson <laughs> of acting because he's super weird. You know what I mean? Super like standoffish, like corner of the eye. Like he's like Prince damn near as an actor. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> Think about it. Is he not? No, Is he... <laughs> you tripping. What are you talking about? Man? Like he's just awkward. He's very awkward. When you say he's like Prince as an actor, what are you talking about? Bro? Awkward. Is Prince awkward? Socially awkward. You know what I mean? He seems like the type of guy <laughs> where if he's awkward. not on set, he's not in public, or <laughs> I guess if he's, if he's not on camera and he's out in public, he's off to himself. He's very awkward, I, I feel like. He, he might not have much of his own personality. Not outgoing. You know what I mean? I feel like when I say Michael Jackson, I, I say that because he's really, really good at, his, at acting, but I really say it because we know that Michael Jackson socially was very awkward regardless of that he was extremely talented you know maybe i'm reaching too far yeah but you get what i'm trying to say the comparison is he's weird. not a michael it's jackson a bad, it's, it, it, it's a bad comparison it i don't just, know he made me think of michael jackson too. i don't know why he made uh, me because it had physical features or you thought he maybe, looked like a motherfucking maybe physical features and <laughs> okay. just weirdness you know? i just i was thinking like if michael jackson was an actor like we know he wasn't <laughs> And he hit that window. I feel like that Michael Jackson was the exact same way. Come on, man. Um, think about it, if Michael did that. No, no, no. I no, think you, no. you're getting fucked up because you, you Michael might, he, be like, God damn it. He might have reminded you of him uh, physically, how he looked, but I don't think uh, nothing about it had to do nothing with Prince or Mike. Okay, I'm, so you, I'm reaching, but I feel, I feel like Rami's character. He does. He's just. He's got this awkwardness that you're drawn to. You know? Or was that the character? That was supposed no, to be that that's, way. that's Rami. I think it's Rami. Every, every show, every movie, See, he's, he's got the, the same video sort of game he was in, he was See, I'm not familiar thing. with any of his previous work like I've, this. I've, so. come, I've, I've watched so much of it, like Mr. Robot, and then he was in... Uh, Did you not watch uh, 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 Bohemian... Uh, Rhapsody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, that was him on there? Yeah. He played he Freddie Mercury. Yep. Oh, he was Freddie Mercury. That was him. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that was him. That's funny. Yep. Damn. Yeah, yeah, and not... I think that's what kind of got me in the music, like Michael Jackson, because Freddie Mercury's on a J- Mike Jack level. To I was me. gonna say that he didn't, didn't give me none of those vibes in that fucking uh, Freddie Mercury shit. But him and reps, I didn't get that. You don't think he did a good job? No, he did a good job. I'm saying he didn't give me that that energy. Y'all that speaking awkward. of like that awkwardness. I think it's because Freddie think... Mercury was just kind of an awkward person to begin with. He was a good person to play that part. But y'all saying like his personal shit is being shown on the screen. You see his, yeah, his if own you, if you go, awkwardness. Have you seen him in anything else? Is that a good actor to you though? He's, well, just playing yourself. We don't really want to see he's nothing really about what that. yourself is on the fucking I mean, he's screen. He's really good at that role. Like that's what makes his character. Other people different. aren't going to play those characters as well as he is. Right. It's just like Johnny Depp. You're not going to see yeah, Johnny yeah. Depp in some Johnny Depp could have played that role. Normal He's an awkward nigga in real no, life. Johnny Depp he get on the fucking that. movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he could have. He would have did it better probably. Yeah. I probably would have preferred to see Johnny Depp. But Johnny I'm, Depp. I'm cool with Rami on the come up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm good with Rami. That I'm actually is a good pick. I like Rami. Yeah, I would have I would have, I would have liked to see him do that. But um, I thought he did a good job. I, I like his acting. I didn't think it was nothing. He was the least impressive of the three. But I, he, yeah. everybody had their own, like, presence. And I feel like yeah. his was weirder, was slightly funnier to see him trying to fight that battle amongst the other it was interesting and that and that's what's dope about it these niggas have so much respect for being in the denzel movie they was just like nigga we finna come out here and battle that i'm about to let these niggas know i'm a fucking actor nigga and i just (laughs) thought that nobody can rock with denzel though like but they thought they could he's shitted on so many people on on camera like yeah you could just see it bro like denzel was damn near trying to like let them do their thing and just chill like you said it was still 
better than both of them. His character wasn't written to like outshine these other Not characters. Not at all. But, but he just naturally but got his that character skill is the like most that. interesting character when you're reading this when yeah. you're reading this story. It's yeah. like, oh okay, this nigga's this nigga's actually twisted. These other you know what I'm That's saying? What's He's dope just about as twisted the, as the, the killers. It, it's He's so in. obsessive about catching the killers. He's killing people. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's I think that's dope. For me, I think this will be my highest rating uh, of the year. Um, Let what, niggas know. I think I'm gonna give it a seven, seven and a half. Give it a seven. I'm gonna give it seven point two. I'm gonna give it seven point two. Um, I like the story. It's a little different. I feel like it's a little original. I think it's, it's original for the most part. I like all the acting. Um, the ending. I like that we don't get closure. It's just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just fucked up. You know. And I and this and murder mystery is my jam. Like I yeah. love murder mystery. And uh, it was a it was a hunt. I was up in there trying to figure out who the killer was, and I was I was in the movie. I was in the movie with them in the car, staking out. You know what I'm saying? Peeping Shit, them. Dude. So I give it a seven point two. Where y'all at? You just basically took the words out of my mouth. I like how you had to really dive in and pay attention. You can't you can't. Oh, I gotta go can't get something to eat real quick. Yeah. You put some in the microwave. No, you gotta actually. No Let it flow yeah. naturally. So um, I give it a seven point. Give it a seven point eight. I knew it. I, I I just read your mind right there. What are we giving it, Matt? Uh, I gave it a seven. Um, it would have been, I think, a little higher because for. I like movies that end in a way that leaves you either hanging or in a way that you don't expect it to end. Mm -hmm. This was not one of those movies. Yeah. I kind of wanted that closure at the end to know if that was the guy or not. We did want that. But we can't get that. We could have. Because he's... He, they, it when they, made when it Rami, softer. It when made it Rami softer. got the package from Denzel's character... You would have been fine. With Yeah, he got the, he had the barrette the in movie there. ended right if there. If it ended right there, yeah, that was good. Then then you saw Denzel throw the package of barrettes away. I was like, oh, fuck. Like, now I don't know. Just let you let, just let you know. Like, right, it like lowered my score right there. <laughs> it let you know. So the title, he's like, it's the little things you got to pay attention to. He wasn't talking about the killers. He's talking about himself. Like, look. Yeah. It's the little yeah. things that's going to get you the caught. The movie's titled perfectly because it's the little things in everything. It's not just him. It's the little things in the in the investigation it's the little yeah. things in a movie that we need to pay attention to. Yeah, it's, it's, that little thing. It's a just really, it's a really good movie. I just wished, I wish the ending was a little. You didn't different. get what you wanted at the you very can't end. Can't always. I didn't what's know. that song? Who sings that song? <laughs> <laughs> I can't always get what you want. You I know, but I feel like need. if I get what I want, I'm giving you, it a higher. You got radio. what you needed because you never got that before. You know what I'm saying? So be thankful. I've had. I mean, you've had. Be we've had those before. We've had movies end on cliffhangers and stuff like that before. No, but you didn't get that one though. <laughs> <laughs> So you don't like cliffhangers at all? Too. No, I do. That's what I said. He, I like he cliffhangers. He liked the story so much this, and he fell in love with movie, the character so much he wanted them to win. This mm. movie particularly, I wanted closure on it. I, I don't mind cliffhangers in certain movies. There are certain movies Would you that, have liked it if you knew that he wasn't the killer? Yeah. Mm. I would have liked that too. If it was concrete that he yep. wasn't. Yep. Either way, it would have been fine. If we did it, change the ending, it, it would, we would need it to be that he wasn't for sure the killer. Right? I would have fucked with it either way. No, if if it if it didn't end high in it for me, I would be cool. I would rather have it just be like, okay, we know that he wasn't the killer, and then it still kind of have you leaving like, damn. I see what you're saying because if he wasn't, you know if I, if it ended where he wasn't the killer, I think it might have been that have been worse. better. I, feel like, I think know. I think either way would. I'm been cool better, with what though, they did for but, me, but uh, you know, I see what you're it saying. It keeps you thinking, and it's like, damn, part two. Yeah. Uh, We're nah. not gonna I mean, there won't yeah, be, yeah, but, yeah. We, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be cool to dig uh, in deeper into the story. If it was mm. a book, I'd go buy that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say, come out with the story on a book. I think this is a book, actually. Is it based on a book? Uh, they said that they, this movie, this, this screenplay, they was working on this shit in the 90s. So they had this motherfucker what? ready over oh. 20 years ago. The screenplay for this God shit. Damn, they got the so. right. They was waiting until Denzel got old. I don't know what they was doing, <laughs> but they could have made they said, this shit. They said the main character needs to be about 65, 70, So uh, that's just a pretty. I thought Denzel I was, we got twenty years. You know what's funny? I thought years. Denzel was about to get in the movie and start getting into his like exceptional, extraordinary nigga bag. You know, <laughs> and he got to on the crime scene. He's like, look back. 
got to doing some shit, sneaking around the scene. I'm like, oh, he already knows what's happening from being in, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. typical Denzel, he the, just the coldest nigga. <laughs> and, then we, and then we find Boy. out he's not. He's actually a, a dud. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, shit. It's, it's, it's crazy. Murderer. That's the first time he took the L in the movie, except for Training Day. Yeah. And he was a beast in Training Day, so it was just like... This nigga has played several cops in movies, and he's did them all differently. The cops, yeah. So... I mean, that's niggas got just mad skills on it, you know. So, so what do we give it? Uh, you give it a seven, you I said? said seven, yeah. What you give it? Man, I gave it a motherfucking seven and a half, man. So this is our highest rated one right now. Denzel's coming out the uh, gate strong. It's the acting we got to attribute that to the cast. Yeah. I did really like the the way it was shot too. You know what I'm saying? I, I felt like we was in the '90s in that bitch. Yeah, did I didn't it notice job. it right away because yeah. obviously we grew up in really the '90s. Really, the only thing yeah. that made me feel '90s was the cars. I witnessed, I noticed the cars were all older cars. None of the other stuff really said '90s to me. That I feel like that that the building that they were in, the the police department. Yeah, that looked way too new to be the '90s to me. <laughs> No, I mean, still things, bro. Yeah, that's the I think they did a good job. We knew, we knew for sure that it wasn't the current time. We knew it wasn't present time, right? You know the cops it, go ahead. The, it almost together. looked it modern like with it. all the glass windows and all that in there. You know? It's the Ooh. cops, bro. They twenty years. They about 15, 20 years ahead. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, all that funding. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. So I fuck with this movie, man. They did their thing. This is I don't even know, man. This nigga's just gonna keep going. Full force, this nigga Denzel. Denzel. He just won't stop. Just appreciate him while he's still here. Even man. if he do little fucked up movies, he's about to, he finna act on his. He gonna do his job. He's, he's about to he don't take fuck around. Morgan Freeman to a whole nother level, like being the old nigga. No, but the thing about it, he might have the best fucking f discography of all time in acting. I know. See, I want to get into this top five actors. I said we was gonna Ooh. do it, but I don't think we could, we could we could just do a light touch on it right now. We, no, no, no. I don't know if we can do a light touch on that. I'm just saying we could set it up for the next go. You might have it because yeah, yeah, he's no. he's chopping at the bits right now. This nigga's ready to get in. <laughs> no. So, so let's just say our top <laughs> fives. We'll say no. our top fives and we'll get into it next time. Um, but this movie's dope overall. It ended up getting a seven point four from us here at Aim for the Bushes. Check uh, this shit out, man. So watch it. It's definitely the best movie of the year and probably the best, best movie. You watch and real it quick, I actually looked at all these reviews. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. reviews is funny because the, the people nobody, just, they don't nobody get this it movie. because they didn't get it. They don't know what did the get, fuck is they, going on. Did, is it I don't see reviewed? any reviews. Well, the bad reviews is what this is what they bought. Oh, I, I went on YouTube. You know what I mean? And uh, and it was a lot of bad reviews. I, I I don't think it was more bad than good, but it was just a lot of people saying yeah, like it's, got it's a terrible point. movie. I didn't oh, get no, it. This is a different. Movie. I was lost. No, that's the that's the one from you know, they A lot just, of motherfuckers said it was lost. Great acting, but terrible movie. Like this is this is what it, what you see in every. They're movie. not. They're just not, click on click on IMDb. It should have a score. Some in dude will say uh, this is the same typical six point three. Yeah, no, they're not gonna be doing Denzel like that. Yeah, but but most of them was giving him his love. They were just like, man, the, uh, this is his worst the, movie. Because everybody said the plot was trash. Yeah, they didn't. They just they didn't understand. It was. Um, I mean, that was one of the things that we said too. It was really like, why did why was he there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They didn't never really like. This this is a complex story. This is not no shit so, for the for the average I, motherfucker. So what are we actually like getting him. here? Is yeah. it? Are they? What are we saying here? What are they saying? It's a. It's tomato, Rotten Tomato gives it 47%. The audience gives it 64%. It's 47% by critics. Yeah. Man, fuck these critics, critics. Bro. This The audience score is lining up with our score a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and that's more, how it so. be sometimes. I've always, too, when I go on Rotten Tomatoes, I always go off the uh, audience yeah. score. So that's what we got here for y'all on the Little Things, hardest movie of the year. Recommend it. Uh, you know, it's not touching those real hard topics like American Skin and One Night in Miami, which definitely have a dope place and do need to be watched. But, you know, the acting in here is just you can't even fuck with it. So, top Yeah, watch so this far. movie when you're just chilling. Well, you ain't got no distractions, none of that. Just chill because you can't miss shit. You gotta, right, get your popcorn or your yeah, food beforehand. Yeah, just post up. Whatever. Um, <laughs>